Hello, my name's Samuel Keith Harris. I just wanted to mention that my books are out now on Amazon. So if you search Samuel Keith Harris, you'll find my first three books there. Thanks for watching. All right, now let's go to verse 14. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. Now we know Jesus is the light of the world, right? But he says, when I go away, you'll be the light of the world. And here he says, you are the light of the world like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden so a true light a true christian cannot be hidden right you you are a person that people know knows jesus now whether they recognize that jesus is real is another thing but i'm saying like when they see you they know you live with conviction they know you live for jesus they know you're you're a christian you go to church but they see your character is different than other people they know that you are a christian it says no one lights a lamp or becomes a christian and then puts it under a basket instead a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house so when you become a christian when you've been changed by the power of the holy ghost when you've been burnt when you've been born again by the holy spirit of god people will see that in your life and you're supposed to give light to everyone in the house people may be living in darkness but you may be the first person saved in your family and people know where the light is now because they see that you are light now. Though you were formerly darkness, the scripture says, now you have light in the Lord. So live as people of the light. So people in your household should see that you're of the light. And in case you get discouraged, the scripture tells us, Jesus says, do you think I came to bring peace on the earth? If you did, you're mistaken. I did not come to bring peace, but division. Now there will be three against two in one household, two against three. Mothers against sons, daughters against fathers, and, and on and on and on. The, uh, the people in your household, Jesus says, will be your enemies, right? Because a couple are standing for Christ, standing for the kingdom of righteousness, standing for godliness, and a few are standing against godliness. So there will be division there. So, yes, you're the light of the world. People see that light on you, but not everybody likes that light.